Hey guys, Phil Friends here. Right, this is day 13 of the Fell Warden Walker. I put the Fell one out, as you can see. There it is. Look how you can see how black that water is now. You can see all those little particles in the bottom. So, let's do what I said I was going to do, shall we? I've already set up where I'm doing the fire, where I'm putting the fire up. I'm using my little, my first wide bun, wood bun and stove. So, if you don't know what that one is, please check out the last my my recent my old videos. Because it's in, it's in there. It's my first wood and stove, so yeah. Right, I've been out of a coffee filter. So, see how bad this is, shall we? That didn't go to plan, did it? Usually you can. As you can see, there's loads of black particles in there as well, still. So I'm going to keep that dripping into the pot again. Pick up the fell wood off the floor. There you go, guys, there's the fell wood. I am going to drain them off because at the end of the day, that's what you should do anyway. You shouldn't just automatically oh, do that, you could shrug it. Right, there you go. That's dried off. You can see how much he's just been in like that. I reckon if it was in water a lot longer, I reckon he would have kind of really, really badly got destroyed. So, let's check him out, shall we? Okay, I'm just going to pause you. There you guys, as you can see, there's the cotton ball. That's the what I haven't changed him, as you can see. That's the striker as normal. So let's see if we can light this combo, shall we? Yes, he does. Two strikes, he likes the cotton ball. I'm just going to throw it in my um, wood bun stove because I want a cup of tea. <laughs> or a cup of coffee, I should really say, because I've got no tea bags on me, so. Yeah. Alright then. Let me just lift you back up so I can see. So you can see me. There's Dopey Dog, as you can see, in the background. These are damp sticks. We've had a bit of rain, so. Yeah. It's nice to be back out in the woods. So yeah, so he lights up a cotton ball. Let's see what else he can light, shall we? I might try and see if I can light up some fat bulb stick. I've got some of that in here. In here. Nope, oh, that's just the wind blowing. I thought it was raining then. <laughs> I'm not actually brought my waterproof camera with me, so it's kind of no, it's good. I forgot it. So yeah, right. I'm gonna move you back down it over here again. I'm gonna put you down. There you can see. There's the um thing. There's the fat rope stick. It's already been broken down because this is the way I got it. So yeah, gonna take a nice decent amount. Move the leaves up away because I don't want to set fire to the friggin' rest of the woods, even though they're wet. Let's see, shall we? Honest, you guys, I've never used this stuff before, so I don't know how to if I've fluffed this up enough or what. To me, it looks like it's fluffed up quite a bit, but fluff up a bit more. I don't know how I can get this any fluffier if I try, so yeah. As you can see, the fire is dying down a bit, but it's still lit. Put a few more pieces on. Let's try again, shall we? Ready, steady, go!
There you are, guys. I am hitting. I don't know if you can actually see me hitting it, actually. No, you can't. Hang on. As you can see, the fire dying down a bit because I'm not paying attention to it. Live a fuck with there, guys. It's not much, but yeah. But we carry a lot of fuck with on me still. They can't say they're fat slivers, they're really thin, but they're really stupidly close together, so... Yeah... So, don't like fat wood. Doesn't like fat wood. So, too weak. Hi right, guys. Right, welcome back. This is the Fair Water and Wolf uh, Challenge, as you've seen in the beginning. Um, my thoughts, yeah, fairwoods do last in water, I don't believe in the rubbish where people say their fairwood was destroyed after, kind of, um, sort of like, out in the rain for like 12 hours or 24 hours, I don't believe in that, personally, as you can see this fairwood was in the water for 28, for 30 days, so, yeah, yeah, it does do some damage to the fairwood, I can admit that. It actually does quite a bit of damage to the fell rod. But it's not damage where you're not going to basically be able to light a fire. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave it there.